We begin with Arizona Game and Fish sounding the alarm on hawk attacks. This comes as four attacks have been reported in Tucson in recent weeks with only minor injuries reported. But as nine on your side's Kenny Dar reports, you'll still want to be cautious as you leave your house. So the next time you find yourself outdoors, you'll want to make sure you look up, specifically if you find yourself under a tree because there could be a hawk's nest and if you get too close, the mom could strike. How fast does it happen? Fast. Uh, you'll probably hear the hawk call out a couple times before it strikes. Hawk attacks often happen very quickly, catching people off guard and leaving them with injuries. Mark Hart with Arizona Game and Fish Tucson says it's not unusual this time of year and several factors can provoke these attacks. The biggest one, he says, is their offspring. It's happening now because hawks are in the nest and when there are young ones in the nest, they can become very defensive if they perceive a threat because they are protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. So you can take any direct action against the hawk. But what you can do, Hart says, is carry an umbrella with you open and resting against your shoulders so it protects your head and neck where most hawk attacks will occur. I mean, I've got a clipboard, I'd put it on my head if I had to to protect myself, a backpack, anything that protects your head and shoulders areas. And if you find a hawk's nest near your home, Hart says they will usually leave once their offspring can fly, so it's best to avoid going near it. In the meantime, set up traffic barricades, use safety tape, and otherwise try and get the word out to your neighbors about what's going on. Reporting in Tucson, Kenny Dar, K-Gun 9, on your side.